Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. Started reading some of the comments on Lisa's Friday video. Friday haul, Louis Vuitton unboxing, skims and more Amazon fashion. It's like you've just had five designer handbags that you got for the Like to Know It conference and now you're buying more. It's insane. But there was a woman on there, where is it? Because I actually thumbs her up. I should see it easier, shouldn't I, if I did? Why can't I see it? Anyway, there was a lady on there who said, there, ooh, I just got my first LV this week. I got a vintage Ellipse PM from 1997. That's the year it was first released and the year I got married. It's in excellent condition. And it was like, oh, that's a cool keepsake. So, of course gone down a rabbit hole of looking at bags that were made in 1995 and of course I was drawn to the one that was 25,000 pounds <laughs> Jed always says he reckons I was a princess in a former life guaranteed if you put a load of things out in front of me with no price tags on I will automatically be drawn to the most expensive thing even without knowing anyway shall we jump in Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I was going to say welcome to crazy town, but many of you live here with me. <laughs> so if you're new, welcome to crazy town because I have so many just like random things to tell you about, including some new favorites. Okay, I have gone pumi crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when I was watching all of the Amazon videos, which if you didn't see my... What's with the laugh? We don't like the laugh. Some... Who was it? They put, was it Tammy? Somebody commented and said, Brooke, when you're editing this, can you edit out your mother's stupid laugh? And it's like, yeah, and the music. I've noticed the music's gone, so we can, can we get rid of the laugh now, please, Brooke, who's 23, nearly 24. My $2,500 Amazon unboxing and try on. I will put it right up here because I found some good stuff. Now I will say there were some things in there that I wouldn't purchase again, like that blade. Lisa, you keep going on about knowing about makeup. Chest, face, two different people. Like I keep saying, it's like Barbie dolls. They've had their heads pulled off and so mum tries to tidy up and just shoves them all back on and the wrong head's gone on the wrong body. Laser was terrible. I mean, there were some things, the little black suit, but I knew that was going to happen. That is the point of me doing this because then I can tell you what is good. And what is good is this Pumi line. When I was watching people do these videos and I was trying to watch all the people that are just like Amazon fanatics and everything, they kept mentioning this brand and a few times I thought, is this sponsored? And they didn't market sponsored or something because they were. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, what? Is this sponsored? And they didn't market as sponsored. What, like you? Is this affiliated? And they haven't said it's affiliated like you. Oh, the fucking nerve of it. Wow. She's feisty. As my black friends used to say in London years ago, fucking feisty as fuck. We're just going on and on. I see why. These are so good. I couldn't even really express to you in the video because, you know, I showed them to you and then I tried them on. But I did order some more. I got this like t-shirt type. And let me show you what's so good. It's this. It's two ply. And not like Zara, where it's two ply until here, and then it kind of almost even shows right there. Two ply the whole way. I think the best bra to get would be that one from Soma. I will link it below. I need a nude one. I have a black one, but that one gives you a really good shape, and it would look really good under these bodysuits. So I got this white one, and then I got this nude one. These are the perfect thing to wear under your mohair sweaters or your wool sweaters. Something that's not, you know, cashmere, of course. Oh, cashmere, of course, is the best, and that's all I'm wearing now. People wear a bra under their jumpers. They don't need a whole fucking t-shirt underneath there. Why do you need a t-shirt under it? If it's a material that's annoying you, don't buy it. I can't be doing with, what is it? I was going to say latex. It's not latex. 
Is it Lurex? Something like that. Back in the day where they used to have glitter sewn through tops and stuff. I can't cope with any of that. It drives me insane. But I'm sure as hell I'm not going to buy a bodysuit to put under something that I don't like when you can feel it on the outside and the sleeves will probably be longer and whatever. I'm more interested in that jumper she's got on at the moment or cardigan. I like the look of that we like it so close to our skin because it feels so good but a lot of these sweaters we need something under i remember one of my favorite sweaters to wear out when i was in my 20s was a red wool sweater and i would wear it over like a white button down with a black skirt or black shorts i loved that but i did order before i even got these i was texting back and forth with lux mommy amanda and she was saying how much she liked these and these are the skims i'll put the exact ones down below because there are several different styles and kind of levels of stretchiness. And I ordered three of these in like the nudie colors and I got the small. These are uh, 93 nylon, 7% elastane. I do love these. I had this one on in a video that you will see coming up soon to wear underneath sweaters. So I got the brownie nudie one and then I got the really brown. Oh, I got the brownie nudie one, then I got the really brown one. Why don't you actually tell the people what it's called on the site so that they know? Brown one, trying to break out of this box, you know, trying to get out of the black. Here's my black one. I think I wore this, I don't know when. I've worn them all. I haven't washed them yet because I just haven't needed to. So when I... Ooh, what do you mean you haven't needed to? That's been there up close and personal in your underarms and you don't feel the need to wash it. I started getting the pumy stuff in. Pumy. I was comparing them like this is the long sleeve pumy bodysuit. I will say that the neck, like the band around the neck is different. What I'm trying to get at is they're not exact replicas of the skims line and i don't think they're supposed to be it's just a you know i mean everybody makes a little basic bodysuit like this but they both feel so good i am a skims girl i'll be honest with you i'll put my favorites down below i always come back to those because they're just the easiest to wear underneath clothes but i suggest you try the whole pumy line don't stop there look at what else i've got <laughs> <laughs> I got these in yesterday. See, I had ordered some for that video, but then when I found out how nice they are, they're so much nicer than any of the other bodysuits I showed in that video. So I did get all of these. So this one is a small latte, and it's shaped like that. From where? And then I got... Is anyone else not keeping up? I don't know where she bought these from. Is this Amazon or Skims? I've no clue the basics the white small i may dare to say i like them better than the zara ones because they fit better the zara if i got a small it wasn't long enough for me wasn't there's an s in that word it isn't wouldn't where's the d but when i get medium there's a little bit of side boob that i'm not crazy about but with these no side boob. oh it's pumy right now we know she's showing the back by accident it's just perfect. And then I got the latte. So just your basic nude colors. Because when I got these, I wanted them to be something I could wear and layer with, but I could also wear under sweaters. Some more stragglers that came in after that video. These are something I never in a million years expected to like. But I will have to say, no matter where I watched videos on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, these always came up. I also looked at Amazon's highest rated products too. And these clean towels, these are the extra large 50 count, ultra soft, 100% bio-based, clinically tested and vegan. These little cloths, they are, I will have to say, pretty amazing. I've been using these for, I would say today is probably the third day, and I'm using them like I do a washcloth or one of those. That's how you're supposed to use them. 
as a face cloth. That is the point of them. Muslin cloths or something like that. And at first I thought they were gonna be too soft and I would feel like they weren't exfoliating because my Abaji New Derm, I hate to keep on talking about that, but it's true. It kind of exfoliates your skin throughout the day so that when you wash off your makeup, you can see like that extra layer of skin and just stuff like coming off. So I always wanna make sure I get that. These do. I felt squeaky clean, yet they're soft enough to go around my eyes because a big pet peeve is any makeup left around my eyes, especially on a night like last night. I just kind of showered off real quick. I didn't wash my hair. So, you know, you don't wash your face as good if you're not washing your hair. And I was able to wash your face at the sink, fucking scuzzy bucket. What the? You don't wash your face as good if you're not washing your hair. No, you put your hair up in a fucking shower cap and you shower properly and you keep your hair dry in the shower cap but I suppose you don't look it isn't a look is it to have a shower cap on this woman how old is she to use this and really get around my eyes I love them now I've tried the disposable kitchen towels before that didn't shake me up I've tried things like this in the past these are amazing and then after I use are they not the ones you wet and then because I've got some of them I think it was a special offer from Avon or something donkeys years ago and I rarely use them because by the time I remember them I'm already in the shower and I ain't getting out to go and get a thing to come back in because no but they're the ones you wet and they suds up and you wash your face with them I thought that's what that was so it's a disposable towel just to dry your face I don't understand who would need a disposable face cloth Oh, she just loves that landfill, Lisa, doesn't she? Use it. I don't throw it away. I like use it to squeeze out my beauty blender. Then I wipe off the counters and then I throw it away. So love these. I think they are worth a try for sure. Okay, something else that I have tried before and you guys tell me about these all the time. And these are definitely an Amazon top seller highest rated product it's these paw paw super soft makeup sponges I, paw paw. I was thinking aren't they the same as the aoa ones what is that place that people go and they get everything for a dollar miss a shop miss a and then they have an aoa section that has beauty sponges like exactly the same as that for a pound I love these. I love these. They are so good and they're inexpensive. You can wash them out, but you don't have to. I usually wash mine one, maybe two times, but with a beauty blender, it is hard to throw those away because you paid 20 bucks for it. But with these, after they get to the point where, you know, they're kind of breaking apart, you can throw them away. Well, they just... You just love throwing things away, don't you? Really? Her ancestors would be rolling in the grave watching her. So we all grew up with grandparents make do and mend. Do you know what I mean? All the old folks that went through the war that had nothing. You made stuff out of nothing. They would, they would hate you, Lisa, because all you do is use something a few times and bin it. You do realise the legacy you're leaving for your grandchildren if you're lucky to have any came out with these that have the flat side that is how I apply my foundation oh, so wow. now I'm using this one to apply my foundation in my wrong color foundation may I add instead of the eco tools one not saying I don't like it this one is softer than the eco tools and probably I would say maybe cheaper I love them they are very very good you have to try them speaking of foundations you guys this foundation just has me it has me I am running out of my I think this will be the third bottle I have bought even this shade shade eight it's the hourglass it's on the lid could you not wipe it with one of your throwaway cloths ambient it's just beautiful 
It photographs beautifully. It looks beautiful in person. Like when I go in Ulta or when I go in Sephora, they will ask me what foundation I'm wearing. Well, this morning I just... I bet they do. Excuse me, ma'am. Why is your face 17 shades different to the rest of you? What? What? Has it oxidized on you? Has it gone weird on you since you put it on? decided to give this one a try because I had it in my drawer and I knew that it was a good shade and I love it. Let's see. I'll compare. Look, it's nothing this like is you. The 3N neutral. 3N. N. And then this is the eight. So you can see there certainly still is a difference, but I'm hoping that when I have to quit wearing my eight because I have to quilt. Did she say quilt? I didn't know you did quilting, Lisa. That when I have to quit wearing my eight because as my tan fades away, this will get a little bit too dark. I'm hoping I can at least mix these or do something else because I did try the other shades of the ambient and I may try them again, but I really like that. And I even, I've mixed it before. It's so good. I really like it. Can she I not see that that's not the right color for her? Okay, so that's the ambient and that is the terracotta Guerlain. And that smells good too. Okay, it does have a scent. It has that pretty, I'm so dressed up, fancy scent. Where is the... Oh, wow. Is, is that a note in a, in a perfume or something? If I go into the perfume shop and say, I'm looking for a scent that's, I'm so pretty, I'm dressed up scent. Well, they know what I'm asking for. Ambient really just, I think it's just the scent of the ingredients. More new hair products. I think I might have even shown these to you guys. I can't remember, but this is something I've actually bought this twice. I've got a small one and this big one. I remember when I bought this, the lady at the supply store saying this was, people loved this. It's this spray smooth and it took me a while to realize like Onions. what this does. I think it's very... It took me a while to realize what this does. When you read the instruction and use it as instructed and you'll see what it does. Very similar to the IGK Smooth Spray. And what I love about it is it's an aerosol. Why do I love an aerosol so much more? I don't know, but I like Cause it. Because it's killing the fucking ozone layer. Because <laughs> there's another fucking tin to go into landfill. I don't know more to spray on See, it's like that it's very fine and you it's like that yeah we all know what an aerosol is i remember all the years of my mum and a hairspray walking behind a choking to death spray it on your hair when it comes out of the towel and this helps get smoother hair even when you are going to curl it because if my hair is too frizzy the curls will not look pretty because think about it if each strand is doing like this but yet it's in a curl it's not going to be that glossy beautiful curl this has helped my blowouts then this is the frizz dismiss instant deflate oil and serum when i was in ulta beauty one day one of the girls suggested this i can't even remember what i was asking her for at the time but i gave it a try and i love it you know that colleen is just going to always be right up there at the top but a lot what about monate you've earned a hell of a lot of money from monate is that not up at the top a lot of you don't like the scent of Colleen Rothschild, and I'm just giving you some alternatives. So this is the Frizz Dismiss, and this, the scent of this, I kept thinking, how can I describe this to you? Remember when I described something from Lush? I think it was the Sleepy as a sexy oatmeal cookie. That's how this smells. Like, I don't know what it is that makes that combination, but that's how it's- Lavender, maybe? Smells, just a unique, Sexy, sexy but yummy scent. I love it. Sexy but yummy, right. There's another one I need to ask for. And then this is a unique product that I've tried. I just got a small one. It's the spray wax. When I was like playing with all of the different curls and different ways to like curl your hair with a flat iron, just all these different things. And I did order a new curling wand. I was thinking another one. Thinking this might help the actual curl. 
stay or be kind of funky. So I'll show you what it does. She can't even get the lid off an aerosol can. That nearly went in the bin. Did you see her face then when it wouldn't open? I wish I had a mirror, but I don't. Okay, these are two. I wish I had a mirror. There's one where I'm sat. There's one behind you. There's fucking how many in your bedroom? <laughs> day old curls. So what you do, it's like a fine mist. I spray it and then I can get my curl kind of revived. I wouldn't spray it like you do a texturizer spray, like in your roots or anything. I spray the actual curl. And I feel like it gives your curls like some more funk and revival. Let's do it right here. I'm gonna regret this. This has a typical kind of like a hairspray scent. It's not bad, but it's not sweet. There's just something different to that oil. Let's go ahead and show you something fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> there is a little story behind this. Of course there is. I have been wanting one of these cool, funky, I don't even know what they're called. I have been wanting everything in every shop ever since I was born because I don't know when to say no. I don't know when enough is enough. I saw somebody else with this and I had to have it is usually the line. It's like Petite Mall or something like that. One of these cool Louis Vuitton bags that look like a box. They were pretty expensive and I didn't know which one I wanted and you know, I never could decide. So I was on YouTube one night and I was watching one of tomorrow. That means you didn't need it. That means you weren't drawn to it. That means you don't really like it. And now you're only getting it because this woman had one. Mara Kalinix shorts and I think she was somewhere at a Louis Vuitton event and they had gifted her this bag and it is fabulous. I think it's called the... I think Tom Daly got one of them or something very similar from somewhere where he was wearing their clothes and doing a thing. Tom Daly is an Olympic diver in case you didn't know if you're from America. He's a what do they call it? Not a heartthrob. He is a heartthrob. Very, very, very good looking. Um, sweetheart. He's one of the nation's sweethearts. Everyone backs Tom because of um, his history and stuff. But I'm sure he got a bag like that. He had a little tiny bag that looked a bit like that. And it looked really good on him. You know, sometimes they give men a bag and they look really silly with it, but he, he worked it. He looked good with that. Camera bag. And John and I both loved it. So I ended up ordering it. And you know what I'll say is, you know how these look like they're going to be so hard? Like it looks like you can't bend it, but look, it's not as hard as you think it is. It just looks that way. And I think <laughs> that's what she said. Sorry. I think that it is fabulous. I love that it has the black handle. Black handle. Is there something going on with my ears or her mouth? You think it is. It just looks that way. And I think that it is fabulous. I love that it has the black handle. I felt like that just made it more me and gave it just a little bit of an edge. Has how is that a bit more you, a black handle? The black right here, and then it's very easy to open. It just pops open like that, and you'll be surprised at how much room is in there. Like, plenty of room for all of my stuff. You know, I don't consider this like an everyday mama bag or run to the grocery store, even though I think you could, because see, it does come with this strap too. I've seen people with both of them on there, so it's crossbody. I really love the chain. I love the top handle. I love everything about this bag. It is just really cool and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, I just wanted to show you what it looks like on. Who is she copying now with the biker boots and the, the big chunky sweater and the, the little bag? Is that was that what that girl was wearing when she was carrying this, no doubt? If you want to do it crossbody, and I guess you wouldn't have to keep like that chain on it, but I love it. I just think it is so cool. And it's going to be so easy to like get your stuff out and everything. So I do not regret it. Sassy. 
You can't go in there. You can't go in there. They do not like a door shut. This is something I ordered. It's kind of like a Spanx inspired set. I think the air something. It's these black pants and the top. It's like a, I think it's a half zip. Yeah. I think I figured out why I don't like flappy leg trouser things. I like them to come in at the bottom because I'm short and they're usually too long. So if they're flappy and too long, they look stupid. A half zip arabesque, which is a good line on Amazon. So I figured if I... Isn't that a ballerina move? You and Lardy are practically twins. I didn't like this because I don't know if the pants are really like a shape that I'm going to love. That my mom or Brooke would love that too. But I wanted to show them to you guys because they are a top seller, highly rated Amazon product. And then I think these are too because I don't know why else I would have ordered them. But these are cut from the cloth Catherine boyfriend jeans. John just had to leave. So I was thought I'd stand up and show you these jeans. John just had to leave so I thought I'd stand up. Where does that sentence make sense? Because I haven't tried them on yet. They do look like they're going to fit. Don't know if I'm going to be crazy about that roll up. So I might roll. You don't know if you're going to be crazy about that roll up. You roll up your jeans all the time. What is your... Roll them down. See how they fit. And I might do like that wide cuff. That's what I really like. I think that wide cuff, so Victoria Beckham. She was doing that before doing that was cool. And I like it. See, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Doing stuff before doing stuff is cool. Finding things that we wouldn't find instead of copying people. So these with a nice, black turtleneck cashmere sweater with the wide cuff and some tight ankle boots or something like that. So I'm gonna try all of this stuff on for you and it should be in here. So look down below. I got these this week from Amazon. Also, this is my favorite, favorite teeth whitening method ever. A lot of you have tried these, the teeth whitening trays from Burst and they're- I only wish I could. Is anyone else like me? Even that the, the, they can't spray the water on my teeth and they can't spray the air on my teeth or I go through the roof. I've got super sensitive teeth and I can't use teeth whitening things. So I tried something else. There's a story for another day. I may actually do that kind of like wax they have the stuff in them that comes with a lower and a upper you put them in and then you mold them and kind of squish them onto your teeth and then what I usually do is jump in the shower or in the morning sometimes I'll do my makeup set the alarm for 15 minutes and then throw them away they're so much better. oh doesn't she love just throwing it away and throw it away and throw it away you know one day they're gonna throw you away don't you Lisa than crest white strips or the actual bleaching trays and they really really work another pair of boots buckle boots oh my gosh you guys does the zip get caught in the buckle guys i am just starting to lose my faith in high-end boots or even the fry boots because these are steve madden and they are so comfortable I just got up and walked back and forth. <laughs> What's she I look doing? crazy. I wanted to just show you how like bendy and comfortable they are. The bottoms are like this, I guess like a hard rubber. I think they are just fabulous. I think they're right on trend and I actually like the way they look with this outfit. So can you please undo that tie or wear something longer underneath it and cover up your fucking camel toe? I love these and I think I ordered these from Amazon too, but after we did the haul and I got my true size eight, there's definitely room for socks, but I don't have socks on and they don't zip. So you just step right into them. Oh, well, there we go. She didn't have to argue with the zip and the buckle. I love them. This is the black, but you can see it's the scuffed up fabulous kind of like a brownie black i would say if you live in a cold climate and you go to like concerts and a lot of stuff outside i think these would be a must-have you live in a cold climate and you go to concerts do you think they have concerts outside in cold climates because you could layer those thick socks underneath them put on like some fleece leggings or 
some skinny jeans and I think these are just fabulous and they're not so expensive that you don't want to walk outside or something like that. These were a favorite, I but I do not like them on me. I feel like Ray Charles. I feel like Weekend at Burn. I feel like Ray Charles. Well, there's an insult to a, an extremely wonderful musician. But she's racist and she doesn't put people down. She's a nice southern lady. Or who else? I don't know. I think it's just because they're so reflective and flat. But I will say that they're comfortable and they get a high rating. So I will link them below in case one of you guys like them. I think they're just too flat. If they were curved just a little bit and not so reflective. I would. But you saw that when you ordered them. So why did you order them? like them. Oh gosh, remember this necklace, you guys. This is so good. Love it. And then a Dean Davidson ring and no watch and Chanel ballerina on my nails. And that is it. So I hope you guys saw something that you like. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got lots of good videos coming up. Lots, 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 as many as I can do. And let's see, we've got Mango coming up. We did J Crew last night. And then I just placed a great big Aritzia order. So something for everyone. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's answered the next two and a half thousand dollar thing. It's Aritzia. Look at that face. I didn't kill it, Mama. It was already dead. Look, it's not moving. <laughs> Put that cat on a diet, Lisa. That is animal abuse, what you're doing. You think you're being kind. You're not. Anywho, if you made it to the end with me, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.